Alright guys, simpler build here and what is up? We are going to make you how to look like a computer hacker. I'm gonna make you look sophisticated enough to do what most people I don't know, don't look like they can do. And what I'm gonna go off first is you're gonna wanna know if you're running Windows 8 or below. If you're running Windows 8, go over here, and if you go in the top right corner, a search thing should come up right here, and the time should get displayed right there. If you're not running Windows 8, go in the bottom left, and right where it says File Explorer, should be a, a thing that says Start, just like that. It should say Start, but it's a circle like Google Chrome here. Just a circle. So you should see that. And if you don't, yeah, then you're running Windows 8 or just so old, I don't even know. Cause, yeah. Alright, what you're going to want to do is pull up Command Prompt. And running Windows 7, you're going to go down over here and type in CMD. But if you're not running Windows 7, you're running Windows... Or, uh, you're running below Windows 8. Uh, you do that. If you're running Windows 8, you're going to do this. Go over here and type in CMD, and you have the command prompt. Double click on that, and like I said, you can just do the same with this spot, and then search computer. If you're running a Mac up here, it should be, uh, you don't type in CMD though, You up here you click the search thing, where my hand, where that hand is, and then you type in terminal. Terminal is basically the same thing as this. Uh, and then you type in help, and that'll give you the codes that you're going to need for whatever you need them for and I'm gonna ex yeah, I can't really explain this command prompt other than this just shows the, the computer in a more of a form of the computer this shows like the coding of the computer rather than just what you guys are used to seeing the software what the computer can do this shows the computer the internals of what it does so right, now I'm gonna stop being nerdy and start giving you guys some information all right, what you guys are gonna do is type in color A, and that'll turn your computer gr turn your command prompt green. And then, if you want to see more colors, type in color uh, slash question mark, and that'll give you all the colors in a list right there. You can stack colors too, so it'd be like color three uh, A. That's blue and black. I hate doing that, so I'm just gonna make it look more like a computer hacker. Alright, so now we are running screen. And I'm gonna pull up this thing, and this is gonna be in the description for you guys if you want to see some codes. Right here, we have a big group of codes, and you cannot paste into this, but you can still look. So on Windows 8, I know you can't paste. You can type in dir slash s and that'll just pop up a huge menu and if you want you can type in start that'll open a second one for you and drag drag this over there get this fitted with the rest of the screen and color and a and then you can type in dir slash s and then over here, dir slash s. And then try to click off the screen, and these things will probably run for the next five minutes, depending on how much memory you have on that computer. I, myself, have a boatload of memory on here, so these things are going to be running for quite a while. So I'm just going to kill, kill that one. And then this one, if I drop it down here, and there. Then it speeds up. <coughs> sorry, I'm sick. Uh, sorry about that. Um, now I'm gonna give you guys some other codes that you guys can type in. You guys can keep that running. All right, here's a good code. Tree gives you just a huge tree. For what we're gonna do later, you might want to remember this stuff. Um, and if you want to see what options you can do with tree, you're gonna type in tree space question space slash question mark as you can see right there. And that'll give you all the options. You can only do two. And if you want to see what you can do with DIR, and if you just type in DIR, it gives you a little list. It's not as big. Uh, if you type, and then type in DIR space question mark, and I'll 
actually put that up here. DIR. Question. That will give you the a uh, bunch of like see how what you can do like yeah just like other codes you can type in so you could type in dir slash four and it'll run all that stuff instead it all runs certain things but dir uh, slash s is uh, by far the biggest because it runs the whole system all right so you're gonna want to find uh, you can type in netstat over here mm -hmm. netstat slash n and then hop on t to a couple of these codes and actually I'm gonna type in dir again just dir and I get a bunch of, see this is a really good page right here so we're gonna drop the command prompt uh, text menu put this down here and grab the snipping tool and if you guys need to find out a snipping get the snipping tool if you're running Windows 8 over here search and then snip and there's your snipping tool and if you're running windows 7 where this file explorer is you're going to type in start you're, no you're just going to click on it and then when it has this thing you're going to type in snipping tool and eventually you should see it. it has a symbol of like yarn and two scissors or uh, scissors and pull up your command prompt hit new i've already made a photo for this so i'm just making more because i screwed up on the other video and you can draw on these and do whatever but basically when you're done you're gonna just do uh... nice right click on it save as and i'm not gonna get all through that and then you can save it where you want i already have a photo and not too not not too much and if you want change that put that as your background you can do a video Victor, that's the name. That's what I named mine. And you can drop this. Click right. Set as desktop background. And your background now is a bunch of codes. But I gotta admit, it's gonna look kind of bad. Let's see. All right. Another thing, and this is only for people who are running um Fox. No, Firefox. That's what it is. Firefox. I couldn't remember the name. I was thinking my app on my phone. Firefox, you can go up in Google. And I'm just going to cancel that out. Cancel that out. And you can type in Java Page Edit. And get the go on uh, whatever site you choose. And there's going to be a little thing. I'm going to highlight that up by hold, cl clicking and holding down. And then dragging to the end. Right click. And then left click on copy. And then you can put it up in here, and then you can paste over. And then if you are um, running um, Firefox, that will. Uh, and then you hit enter, you'll be able to control the screen. Uh, you, you'll be able to literally actually delete things off of Google. No one else will see it, you'll see it. But you can tell your friends you just hacked a website. So it's really pretty cool, actually. Uh, if you want to play with that, you're gonna have to download Firefox. Firefox ain't a bad application. I just perf I didn't have it, and I prefer Google Chrome because of the speed. So I'm just gonna take a second out here and uh, just yeah, just tell you guys basically straight up. This will this should make you look pretty sweet. Having you don't have to make your background this. I mean that was just a touch. I actually, I'm probably going to change this because I don't like this background, but, so if you guys like this video from Simpler Build here, oh, by the way, when you're doing command prompt, this is a very important tool, I forgot, you're going to want to put your computer on high performance, and how you're going to do that in Windows 8, I don't know how to do it in Windows 7, I've never actually tried, you're going to go down to the, see the mouse, go down to the bottom left, there's a little battery, mine's plugged in right now. Running on high performance. I have power for gear high performance because my computer is built for gaming. But my computer, you don't really need to be in high performance to run because if you're running a uh, command prompt and you're doing dir s, uh, this will slow down your computer if you're running two of them back to back. So just remember that factor when you are doing that.
And yes, I have the sniffles. Um, thank you for watching this video from the Simpler Build. 